Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for joining us. We are Team Olympians from Sure Start, and today we'll be presenting our web app, Sky Tales. Now, before we begin, I'd like to introduce you to our wonderful team. I'm Aniola, this is Tosin, this is Hakobo, and this is Juan. All right, thanks for introducing us, Aniola. Um, before we begin, do we have any educators in this room? Um, well, like many of you guys, my sister's also an educator, and every day she's teaching, inspiring, and guiding our next future generation of leaders. Um, however, she's facing, her students are facing a reading level crisis. As you can see in the graphs here, reading percentiles have dropped significantly from the years 2019 to 2022 in fourth and eighth grade reading levels. This simply means students are just not learning as fast as they used to, and this is not okay. After conducting numerous surveys um, nationwide, we found that the constant and prevalent access to technology at home is delayed. Um, we found that this is shortening students' attention spans and leading to, leading to them just simply not being interested in reading because it's a more short-paced activity. Uh, this is where our team came up with SkyTales. SkyTales is an innovative solution that uses AI to create a, a choose-your-own-story form, and basically it just creates more personalization in reading for students. So, looking at video games and other like, really fun activities for students, we realized that there were three main pillars that made these things more attractive as activities for students, uh, compared to reading, and that was interactivity, collaboration, and personalization. So we decided that we want to take these three uh, pillars and integrate them into reading. So that's where our solution, SkyTales, comes in. So for this demo, we have uh, four screens open. We'll use the top left one as the teacher's view. Um, so the teacher then goes in and creates a room. Um, they'll go in and they set a theme. So here we have soccer, a grade level. We're setting grade level to five uh, players. We have three players, three other screens. Um, and pages per player. Uh, the pages per player is simply just how many choices each of the players has to make. So there's going to be a total of nine choices made. Uh, and then the player, I mean, the teacher can go in and set a uh, vocab board. So we, here we have um, bewildered and generosity. So then when the teacher creates the story, um, they're given a game code, and then their, their students can go in, um, put in that game code, uh, and then join. So here, um, it's the live demo. The teacher can then start the story. Um, and here you can see that um, on the teacher's view, uh, they can basically monitor the story as it's going on. Uh, and the other students see uh, almost the identical page. Uh, but one student sees something different. So in this case, bottom left, it's Joe. Um, and he's making a choice. Um, so then he has four choices that he can choose from. Um, and you can also see in the story that the word bewildered uh, is used. So then Joe's going to go in um, and he's going to make a choice. Uh, here he chooses to ask Bob for advice. So once he goes in uh, and makes that choice, just about a second, um, it'll then update the story. So um, after like a short. Uh, and as you can see, the uh, story is updated. So it says Joe decided to ask Bob for advice, and then uh, the story is then updated based off of that uh, choice. If he had chosen something different, it would be different. Um, and then there for uh, the next thing is Bob's making choice. Now it is incredibly important to focus on the AI philosophy in Skyteal. With the recent rise in AI software, the world is a bit skeptical about how AI will impact the future. My team and I hold an optimistic stance. We believe, given the right amount of care and control, AI will impact the world for the better. With this, we hold three core principles. First is data privacy. We believe that the data of students and teachers should be protected at all costs. Second is transparency. We believe that the data, sorry, we believe that the data, they should have access to the data and they should know how the data is being used. Third is proper authorization and proper authorization and attribution. We believe that um, it is important to maintain creativity and originality when generating these stories, but we also believe that while SkyTales uses a third-party source, they should be properly credited. As for our business model, we wanted to make SkyTales as accessible as possible to teachers, educators, and the students themselves. This is why we offered a premium subscription to SkyTales but as a launch from that, we also offer a sliding scale pricing model to accommodate for different compensations um, if teachers want to pay for the pay for SkyTales premium themselves or a 
um, by, or the school districts themselves are available um, at a sliding scale pricing model. And then as we gain revenue in SkyTales, our main idea is to reinvest the re um, profits back into um, making the AI better and SkyTales smarter and smarter as we go. For future app updates, we want to make SkyTales as appealing as possible and as entertaining to the student. This is why we want to include generative AI and media inside of SkyTales. We can do this as well by increasing the curriculum um, advancements by adding phonics, vocabulary, and lifestyle tracking to teachers. And, cycl and cyclical improvement of AI functionality as we continue in order to keep up with market standards. Thank you to MIT, Rays, and SureStar for having the opportunity of us to present in front of all you guys' wonderful audience um, and the panelists as well that will be asking us questions. Thank you.